<laughs> what a joke. All right, you know. And, like, these are the games, like, like I said, I think this deck is a little bit better than these games have shown. We've just gotten really, really unlucky in a lot of these. Um, I'm going to go run and make a bottle really quick for my youngest. We'll play this last league match, and then we will uh, make some updates and changes to the deck here. Thanks for hanging out this afternoon, folks. All right, let's play this last match, and then we'll make a couple of small changes and try it again. At the very least, I want to get Hanger Back Walker in here. Jake, you want some yogurt? Mmm, yum yum. Jacob. I think the Opter Spy Network is worse than Obnexilis. Thinking about it more. It might be sweet, but it's probably worse than Obnex. Restricted lists ahead. They, they don't do restricted outside of Vintage for a reason. It's confusing. And soul artifacts definitely worse than Doctor's Five. Hanger back, yeah. And we have one Telerio West in the mana base, so we can Telerio West for it as well. All the all the tutors. That's why I want to get one in here. Let's just hanger back for a threat. Or trinket mage for a threat. And Pure Steel Paladin's been a deck for a while. It's one of those glass cannon decks. When it draws really well, it's fine. We're definitely putting Hanger back in here. The question is what I want to cut. This Torpor Orb in the main deck has been really meh. Damn, I'm going to get rid of that, I think. What is this? There are two entire lands in our opening hand. And if we find a third land, Trinket Mage finds the fourth land. Like, it's so delicious. It's so very delicious. I 
It's not the usual pure steel storm. Okay. All right, I, was gonna, I almost said not Eldrazi, and then he played that, so, you know, details. We found a third land, too. Okay, everything's turning up Millhouse. Great, this hand had lands and spells at it, and we got to keep it. Do you want an Echoing Truth type effect from the sideboard for, like, Stony Silence? I don't know, like, we can beat Stony Silence by just, like, bridging them and activating Tezzeret. Like, we can still cast all of our spells. It's not like our deck doesn't do anything like Affinity does. Like, Stony Silence is annoying. Jake. I think I just want to smother and play a land tapped here. This means we don't guarantee to get to cast Tezzeret next turn, but we really don't want to cast Tezzeret. Like, if he goes um, Thought Not, Crack for four next turn, like, that's pretty bad. Because Affinity is also doing well. We've got two Doom Blades and two Smothers in the main deck, and then we've got a third Doom Blade and another Goat for the Throat in the sideboard. Smother still hits things against the Eldrazi deck. It hits Man Lands, and it kills everything in Affinity. Doom Blade notably misses uh, Vault Scourge in Affinity. That's haste. Interesting. All right, so we can play this. Play trinket mage. He missed a land drop, so that's good for us. Why not just dismember? Because dismember has a very real cost when you're not an aggressive deck. Like these, the, the dismember is not just one one mana removal when you care about your life total and you're using it as a resource. Like, a lot of the decks that play Dismember, like all these Eldrazi decks, it's actually just a one-mana removal spell for them because they're the aggro deck. Stole your Ulamog. Ulamog felt obligated, man. He hit a fourth land, and it's a colorless. That's not great for us. Just an endless one. That's fine. Hopefully, he swings and trades here. He didn't. Sweep. So now we get to play... Get to play Obnixilis and kill his endless one. Maybe this was bad. Um, if he has land reality smasher, we know he missed the land up, so he'd have to hit a land here. And I guess we can just slaughter pact a reality smasher. I really just want to start casting. I really just love Obnixilis, I'm not going to lie. Alright, we'll see how he attacks. Alright, so... Idiot didn't play around Slaughter Pact. Kill that guy. Get him out of here. God, I love getting people with Slaughter Pact. Get God. I would like to prevent this. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. So you're saying there's a chance. We could 2-3 this league. Jake. Uh, in solo, we're not an aggro deck. In solo is good in an aggro deck. We're not playing. We're not playing Tezzeret Affinity. This deck is sweet, Matt. And like we've drawn really poorly in these first two games, but this deck's probably playable. Like I'd play this at like at like F and M.
All right, he's already moved to combat, so that means Obnixilus is living. Uh, I don't like any of the decks in Legacy. You should just play something that's objectively powerful. I'd like to draw a card. Thank you. Oh, if we get Mana Leaks here, I'm going to feel miserable. Okay. I'd say that's really bad if he has Mana Leak. Uh, let's make a 5-5 five, five and ship the turn here. We have backup Tezzerich, but I also just like want to preserve our life total. Like, if he reality smashes us this turn, we just would be super sad about life. Jake. Jake. All of the Tezzerits are belong to us. How can you beat us? We have Phyrexian Arena going. We have Tezzerit going. We to draw three cards a turn. No, they stay a 5-5 five, five forever. This card is insane. This is quite possibly one of the best Planeswalkers ever, ever printed. He could steal it. He's already played two Obligators. I'm hoping he doesn't have another one. Drowner of Hope, sure. Destroy that. Get it out of here. <laughs> yeah, Ted's is very powerful. It's just his deck building restrictions are very real. Alright, let's play this. And then let's play this. I guess it was possible... I guess it's very possible, actually, that I'm just supposed to play another treasure. No, I think I'm going to make him kill. Make him kill this other one. You like those? Yeah, I'm going to pass. We have Creeping Tarpet here to block if he tries to kill Obnexilus. He's only got two cards in his hand. Maybe he's about to get a Reality Smashed. Sure. Which Planeswalker are you hitting? If he sends like this at Tez and this at Obnixilus, that's great for us because we kill the Scion with the Tar Pit. Just to take. Okay, so he sees the Tar Pit line. We are basically playing standard. Howdy, back now. Worm coil engine, all right. So we're cooking with gas. What's your last card? Drowner of Hope, that's actually really good. Um, if I tether it, we have one, two, three, four, five left over. I think I'm supposed to tether it and look for bridge here. We have three bridges on our deck and we haven't seen one yet. So five cards to find one. Bricked. I'm just gonna pass here. He's gonna get to tap our guy down with the second drowner, but I wanna make him do that. I guess actually that's bad. No, yeah, that was bad. I should have attacked him there because he either chumps or he eats it because he's gonna have summoning six scions that he can do anyways. Yeah, I should have I should have shipped with this. I guess I could have played this and this and shipped with both of them, but then like his his drowner.